In today's video, we're opening never before seen vintage Yu-Gi-Oh products. What's up guys, we're back with another Lars video. Lars has yet again, you guys saw the other video searching for the Stardust Ghost Rare. If you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. That was a pretty awesome video. He also sent some other stuff in the mystery box this time, which includes that crazy looking vintage Yu-Gi-Oh construction pack. I don't know what to call that thing. It's a big like hex, what, what's the six sided? Is it five? hexagons five sided, right? I can't remember, I need to go back to elementary school. Very weird looking product. There's also a lot more than just that. But before we get into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three cards, a Magician's Valkyria, the Red Eyes Yap artwork, and the Lost Art Dark Magician Girl. All you have to do, like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, let me know down below. What do you like the best out of all these different never before seen blister packs? And uh, by the way, that uh, I know it wasn't Lost Art, that's the Japanese, so it's not Lost Art, but it's the artwork that's the same as Lost Art. Okay, I get it. All right, we're gonna go through this stuff one at a time. First of all, we have just a straight up third party blister of Invasion of Chaos that's about to come open. Like, this thing is pretty disgusting. It's seen a lot of things in its day, but let's just take a look at XL marketing. I feel like we've seen that many, many times in these third party blister videos, but it seems like every time we do one of these, there's like a different third party blister somehow. There's one very similar to one we've opened before, but the rest of them are all stuff I haven't seen. So let's start with this one. There are like seven different, six different products. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of packs to open today. So let's just open this up. Really cool stuff. All right. There we go. All right. This one's like, ew, look at that. That thing got wet or something. So hopefully the pack is fine. This thing definitely has seen better days. Let's see if it can see the best days by pulling the CED, BLS, you know, DMOX, something like that for Lars. Because we pulled pretty good yesterday. Let's see if we can continue that today. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Sacred Crane, Curse Seal of Forbidden Spell, Gigantis. Why is this not focusing right now? There we go. Gigantis, Multiplication of Ants, Grimaju de Aiza, Giga, Gaga Gigo. Finrear, and we have Crimson Ninja. Oh no, there's one more. And uh, the Dark Dry Ceratops. Seems like the cards are fine. Nothing weird happened to those. All right, next pack, we have a Legend of Blue Eyes White Dragon pack. Check that out. Very nice. It's got, uh, you know, trading card game, Yu-Gi-Oh! Not, nothing too crazy on there. Legends, oh, we remember Legends. This kind of looks like Ninja's new logo. This does not look like Ninja's new logo, the little like hair thing. We just figured out Ninja's actually a former Legends employee names one pack look for legends games and or trading cards so <laughs> legends game and or trading cards yeah the, but they don't make any of the trading cards they just repackage them so kind of interesting to be like look for our trading cards even though they're not actually ours I, I feel like we've definitely opened this before i think we've opened these the legends maybe that's where we knew them from interesting so we have looked for them before Let's open this thing up. Legend of Blue Eyes pack. This is probably a 2003 pack, so really good stuff inside. L-O-B. All right, the problem is focusing up here. Now down here, it's a little blurry, but I mean, it looks really good right here, so maybe, it, maybe it's worth it. Okay, Legend of Blue Eyes, US and Canada. We're starting off hot going with the 2003 Legend of Blue Eyes pack and an IOC Unlimited pack. This is a pretty crazy start. Yeah, there's a lot of good packs in this video coming up. It's very vintage. We have the Man Eater, not the bug, just the Man Eater. We have removed threat. Steel Oak Grotto, number one. Monster Egg. The 13th Grave. Yurabi. Come on, give us a blue eyes. Two Mouth Dark Ruler. That'd be amazing. Hinotama. And we have a. Oh, a Monster Reborn. Ultra Rare. Unlimited. Original. Not 2002, but 2003 print. And look at it. It looks pretty clean. Okay, time to sleep that up. Monster Reborn out of one pack. And look at the original Monster Reborn foiling. Just check this out now that we're focused in. Look at that. That is beautiful. That background looks so good. LOB Unlimited. Classic pull. I mean, you can open LOB as much as you want, but when you open the originals, I mean, compared to the 20, 25th spawn and everything, that foiling on those originals looks so good. All right, let's take a little trip back to Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Generation Next. So we have both Dark Beginning, so the original with Yugi. Then we have Jade and Yuki. I really like this packaging because it has both of them on it. $4.99. There's only two packs yet. Two packs inside. There's a little, the yeah. So look, oh, our favorite vintage sports cards. Or vin is it sports cards? Yeah. They're the ones who did the counterfeit UDE stuff. They repackaged all the uh, Flame Wingman and everything. So always fun to see them. Look for Shonen Jump GX cards inside. I am. I'm looking. All right. This one's actually in like pretty good shape. It almost looks brand new. Like it looks really, really nice. But uh, we're going to destroy that now. Oh, my. Oh, it's painful. 
This is not gonna open easily. Yeah, that didn't really do much. It didn't help. All right, it's time to stop the uh, the tragicness that is me opening this. Let's make sure it doesn't go all the way up. To, okay, it doesn't. Okay, we can cut this right here. Scissor time. Don't see these very often. Actually, I just found these scissors. I used them like five years ago, and I found them when we were moving. All right, there we go. There we go. We figured it out. That that took entirely too long to open. All right, but vintage sports cards like to like glue the packs on there. Which I'm hoping they didn't do this time. Well, okay, it seems like they did, maybe. All right, so here we go. They are attached at the hip. Or maybe not the hip, maybe at the head. <laughs> okay, let's do uh, GX first. We're going to rip that off. Generation next, right here. Lost Millennium. Focus in, buddy. Let me just do that so we can... Yeah, there we go. All right. The Lost Millennium. TLM. Can we get that ancient gear golem? Dr. Crowler. I haven't seen that in a very long time. All right, one, two, three, four. Four. We have wind the win win the wind of charmer. There we go. Miss polymerization. Monk fighter. King the skull servants. Battery charger. Area the water charmer. Elemental hero. Burst into tricks. Minefield eruption. And we have a royal surrender. So no foil in that one. That's okay. We got another chance right here with dark beginning. And it's crazy what's going on there. All right. There's little Yugi. Yugi Moto. Let's see what Yugi can pull us. Will it be something epic? This is Dark Beginning 1, so they got some pretty cool stuff like Blue Eyes in here. Let's see. I think this is the one I had Blue Eyes from was Dark Beginning. I think it'll, it might be right after this. I can never remember. Dark Beginning, I feel like might be normal, but let's find out. Invader of the Throne. Ruxin Special. Okay. Gross Ghost to Fled Dreams. This monster feeds on the dreams of an unwary sleeper, dragging the victim into eternal slumber. Suijin. Slot Machine. Where's his little brother? Labyrinth Wall, no little brother here. Curse of Dragoon. And a magic drain. That's us. Oh, no foil. Oh, the pain. Light Force Sword. Gamble, Jam Breeding Machine, Cheerful Coffin, and Chain Energy. All right, no luck there, but that's okay. We've actually got another GX um, mixed with the original. So they actually here, according to Vintage Sports Cards, which doesn't mean much because they, you know, sold counterfeit Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They have Yu-Gi and Flaming Eternity as an original set, not as a GX set. Some people say this has a GX set. So, I mean, whatever, whether you agree with Vintage Sports Cards or not, that's not really a strong point, but just throwing that out there. Let's cut this thing open this time because we know better than to try to rip it open. Okay, let's go for the Lost Millennium first. So the glue was extremely sticky. Oh, we got to go. It's not going to work there. We got to go like this. And that's a little easier. Let's see if we can get something big. We have Flame Wingland. We have Ancient Gear Golem. We have Brain Control. We have, I feel like I'm forgetting two big ones. Uh, Elemental Hero Thunder Giants in here. We have Medusa Worm. Avian. Rock Bombardment, we have Hita, the Fire Charmer, Death Wombat, and uh, DD Survivor. So it survived the glue, but it is still not a foil. Okay, Flame Me Eternity. Let's see what we can get you here. Sacred Phoenix, obviously, is what we're looking for. There's also uh, the, well, man. Oh, no, why am I forgetting the name? Phoenix Wing Wind Blast. There we go. That's a good one. There's a lot of good cards in here, actually, but those are some of the good ones. One, two, three. All the ultis in here, though, look amazing. So if we get an ulti, we'll be super pumped. Mecha Dog Marin. Space Mambo. We got a Star Wars ship. We got Threatening Roar. The Dark Hex Sealed Fusion. Beast Soul Swap. Element Valkyrie. Refusion. Rescue Cat. That's a good common. And we have... Oh, a super rare Behemoth. The King of All Animals. This does come in ulti and looks pretty sweet. That is a super rare. We have not had a foil since the Monster Reborn, so that is nice to pull something. All right, not too bad. All right, we are going to actually make a little trip into the original. So if you guys remember, we've opened a blister very similar to this before with the three packs, and it's this shape where it's very hard to show on camera. But as you can see, Ancient Sanctuary down there, over $11 value for $7.99, now $4.99. I mean, it's great deals. First edition, I just saw that. First Ed Legacy of Darkness. First Ed Rise of Destiny. I don't know about the Ancient Sanctuary because it's covered up, but that's pretty awesome. Let's get this thing open. I just looked at the back of this thing, and this thing has a relinquished, like, magic ruler, and none of these are magic ruler packs. That's so random. That's kind of weird. All right, we have our three packs. Unlimited Ancient Sanctuary, so we'll definitely start with that. First Eds of these. All right, this thing's got a little ponytail going on. Let's, uh, Yugi's got a new hairstyle. Let's open this pack up and see if we can get... Enemy controller. That's our goal. One, two, three. Or a secret would be pretty amazing. We have a Arcane Archer of the Forest, Dust Barrier, Sonic Jammer, Desert Sunlight, Armor Breaker, Judgment of the Desert, Absorbing Kit from the Sky, Goblin Thief. Oh, and a Needle Burrower. I thought there was one more. Super rare Needle Burrower. 
Very nice. All right, another foil back-to-back -back super. It's pretty nice looking foil there. Now we have Rise of Destiny, which I don't know if this is a hobby pack or not, but there are some good cards. Dekoichi is a good retail card. Uh, ulti, I should say. So if we can get that, that wouldn't be bad either. A lot of good hobby ones like the creator and stuff. One, two, three, four. Don't stick there. We have the Element Saurus. Moki Moki Smackdown. Harpy Lady 3. We have the Moki Moki King. Tactical Espionage Expert. Element Magician. Harpy's Hunting Ground. Mine Haxerx. And we have a Ultimate Rare Serial Spell. All right, so this was a retail or one of the Euro packs because Euro could have both. But this was uh, not a hobby pack for sure because this is a retail ulti. But wow, that is a nice looking one, actually. Not expensive, but very nice looking. I will say, let's check the back. How's the scuffing? Actually pretty good. I mean, there's some on there, but Rise of Destiny can be really bad with scuffing. So not terrible. We'll take an ultimate. We're on the three hollow streak right now. Okay, first edition Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. Recently in the 100 pack opening for the new year, we had a good pull out of Legacy of Darkness. If you guys missed that, it's a long video. Go check it out. It's a good watch. We actually had some really good pulls. So go check that out if you missed it once you, or maybe you watched it and didn't finish it. Go see what happened at the end. Pop and Magic of Dark Ruler. We have Grey Wing. Ready for intercepting. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed yet. Nutrient Z, Super Robo Yaru. We have Bark of Dark Ruler, Wing Minion, Burst Breath, and oh, Freed the Matchless General. Not the Mattress General. You guys remember that. Made a short about that when I accidentally said that. The Matchless General First Edition Ultra Rare. That's a four hollow streak. That little three pack blister had all foils in it. All right, we're hot right now. Let's open up this uh, Yu Gi Oh! GX. There's one more of these. And then we have another awesome three-pack blister and then the big hexagon slash septa, whatever, whatever that shape's called. Somebody let me know in the comments. All right, that's my best opening of this so far. Look at that. But now it's going to be glued, so it's going to be hard. But still, I'm very proud of myself. All right, Ancient Sanctuary, first edition. Okay, that's pretty good. So we'll save that because it's first ed. Lost Millennium. I'm putting it upside down because glue on it. Don't want to get on the mat if I can avoid it. No reason to uh, risk it. It's probably wooden sticks, but no, no reason to risk it. We have the Battery Man Double A. Let's see what we can get out of the Lost Millennium. Guardian Statue. I don't think we've gotten anything. We've had two packs already. Kamenatsu Blow, Earth Charmer, Battery Charger, Spark Man, Minefield Eruption, Clay Man, and a Hero Signal. Da -da -da, Hero Signal. Okay. Nothing there. We broke our four hollow streak. That's unfortunate. But first at Ancient Sanctuary. You got this. You're going to turn this thing back to where we were. You're going to get us a first ed enemy controller. Lars is doing pretty well so far today, which is, I mean, what's what do we really expect out of Lars? It happens every time. Night Assailant, already a good start to this pack. Dora of Fate, Mystical Shine Ball, Delta Attacker. We are still recording. We have the Backfire. You got to make sure. Three up Lakuta, Earthquake, Pharaoh Servant. No Pharaoh Servant pack yet, but there is one coming up. And Oh, the Agent of Judgment Saturn, first edition. Man, he's getting good luck. Two old. <sighs> the packaging. The packaging. No. Look at this. It's completely bent. No. No, the packaging, it's so, I thought it was safe actually, but yeah, the, the pack, there wasn't a lot of support for the pack, so this thing is straight up just bent. Oh no, that is so sad. Fortunately, that's the first one that's been damaged, but dang, an ultra rare, that sucks. It's first edition too, that's a real bummer. Sometimes these third party blisters are really cool and fun, but sometimes that happens and that's a little sad. So MFC though, coming up, so hopefully nothing's bent in there. We have seen bent stuff out of MFC before. Uh, IOC. So this is a really good selection. Pharaoh Servant, MFC, IOC. This is the one we opened a very similar one. In my, I don't think it was this exactly. I think it was MFC, like LOD and maybe AST or something like that. Maybe it was Pharaoh Servant. And so maybe it was LOD there. Okay, the back has another magic ruler, but it's blue. Very interesting. All right, we got this out pretty smoothly. So let's be careful and get this off because, you know, just in case we don't want to add any extra damage that was already there, like, uh, you know, the Agent of Judgment Saturn, you know, that thing got straight up bent in the package. So we got to be extra careful not to do anything extra. Here we go. Pharaoh Servant. One, two, three, four. Here we go. We have Harpy's Brother. Reign of Mercy. These are unlimited. Magic Crusher. I'll still take it either way. We have Fire Dragon. Flame Champion. Respect Play. Gruchin Kuwagata. By the way, this is me and Lars. Like, respect. We have Gruchin Kuwagata. 
Souls of the Forgotten and a forced requisition. So nothing crazy there. Let's do the IOC next and then we can do MFC. So let's see if I can get this off with the glue. There we go. Didn't really get the glue off, but that'll work. IOC unlimited. Had good luck so far today. We pulled like five or six foils, which is pretty good for a bunch of random, random, uh, you know, third party stuff. But it is a blister still, so it could be completely random. You just never know what happened before they put it into the blister. We have Terra King Salmon, Ladybug, Recycle, a hero emerges, Ruxin Special, Anti-Aircraft Flower. We have the Yellow Luster Shield, Burning Algae, Ojama Black, and a ooh, ooh, ah, ah, Berserk Gorilla. Not the end of the opening, because we still have the crazy hexagon thing. That's not a hexagon, Pentagon? The Pentagon. That's the five one. Maybe it is a hexagon, isn't it? Because what's the shape of the Pentagon building? A Pentagon, but how many sides does it have? I feel like it has five. Okay, so maybe this is a hexagon. I might be right. Okay, four from the back. Can we get a Dark Magician Girl? Can we get a Dark Paladin or a Breaker? Those are the big ones that I want. There's some other good ones as well. Roulette Barrel, let's go. Pineapple Blast, United Resistance, give us that. Dark Magician Girl, Second Goblin, Formation Union, Freezing Beast. How many? I think it might be the next one. Here we go. MFC Unlimited, give us that awesome pull. Ooh, a super rare. Skilled Dark Magician. So while it's not a big, like, ultra or secret, it's still a very classic card. I like this card. Skill Dark Magician, very nice. So another foil pull for Lars. All right, we are on to the mysterious shape here, which is going to be very hard to show. Like, it's just very large. We have five packs plus free variant card, free game card, and free deck box. So there's the deck box right there. Kind of says the same thing there. Vintage sports cards on the bottom. So not much else to show you except for what's in there. It kind of shows you everything. So let's just get this thing open. All right, here we go. Let's open this top up. What does it look like? A bunch of cardboard. Nothing in the middle there, just a bunch of cardboard. Okay, pull this out. Except uh, that didn't come out, the deck box. All right, so this textured one's pretty classic. That brings back some memories right there. That's pretty cool. A little scuffed already, but... Wait, is there anything in there? Oh, that's where the extra card is. So, oh, wait, extra cards. How many are there? Are they going to be commons? Put your bets in now. Let's see. Oh, Mass Bees Duelist League. That's cool. And then a Cobra Jar, so that, oh wait, and Book of Tayo. So yeah, that's pretty cool though. That's actually not terrible. Oh wait, they didn't show this Magic Ruler pack. That's pretty cool. So let's do LOD first, because we that's probably the one we've opened the most. All right, just going to leave this back here. Let's see. LOD Unlimited. Can we pull something good? One, two, three, four. We have Twin-Headed Wolf, Bubble Crash, Robotic Knight, Double Stand Devil Stand, Maharagi. I think that's a short print. Throwstone unit, Super Robo Yaru. Bark Dark Ruler, give us a secret. Come on. Ooh, Array of Revealing Light. That is not a secret at all. Legacy of Darkness. Legacy of Darkness, I think they printed a lot of because you find it in a lot of these third-party blisters, and we've opened a lot of it on the channel. It's a little bit more accessible these days, so I think there was a lot of it available back then. We have Wing Beat of Giant Dragon. Doesn't make it any less cool, though, with the secrets. Life Absorbing Machine, Gradius Option, Fangshing Mirror, Patricia of Darkness, A Faint Plan, Skull Knight number two, and the drop off, another hollow. He's doing really well. Drop off, just getting a lot of foil cards. Pretty decent card, actually. It's like, is it worth it though? Because it's a one for one, but could be. Sometimes it's really good. All right, L O N time. Gemini Elf. Here we go. Three more packs in this video. It's been super fun opening all these third party blisters. One, two, three, four. We have a worm, Drake. Amazon, our share. Destruction, Bewitchment, Boneheimer, Unfriendly Amazon, Swordsman, Atlanta, Baytal, and the Jam Reading Machine. Okay, nothing too crazy there, but that's because we're saving it all for the Pharaoh's Servant pack right here. We do have Magic Ruler after this as well, but. Genzo and B, not BLS, <laughs> two, uh, two Eyes Bloom Dragon, Blue Eyes Toon Dragon is what I'm trying to say. Oh my goodness. Are going to be back to back. Genzo and Blue Eyes Toon Dragon will be back to back. We have Drill Bug, Darkfire Soldier number one, Metal Detector, Flying Comic Hero number two, Gift of the Mystical Elf, World Suppression, Burning Land, Darkfire Soldier number two. Again? Again, there's, no, that was number one and number two. Okay, and... Magic Drain. <laughs> All right. Saving it for the last pack. Final pack in the strange shape package of third partiness. We have Magic Ruler Original Unlimited 2002. Here we go. 
an original MRL Toon Dragon's like probably like $125 ungraded. So it's pretty expensive. It's a pretty nice card. One, two, three, four, and then you could grade it as well. Oh, a great start. Hungry Burger. That's amazing. We have the Commencement Dance. Metal Fish. Eternal Rest, Darth Maul. Taylor the Fickle. Chain Energy. High Tide Geosian. Boar Soldier. Is this the last card? If you guys have enjoyed the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you, and shout out to Lars. Make sure you let him know in the comments for sending us this awesome stuff. Let's pull up a Toon Dragon right now. Or a Giant Rat. All right. That was still a lot of fun. There was a lot of good pulls today. Shout out to Tomfo Show, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutster, Brad, KK Beats, and Anatai Show, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Joey Castle. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.